the quick chant of Let's Go Eagles as we are rounding about the last minutes here in tip off. Once again, my name is Joshua Glenn, bringing this game to you between the Lady Crusaders and the Lady Eagles. As I said at the top of the broadcast, these two teams both beat, uh, both advanced handily over the teams they played in the last round just four days ago. The winner of this one will see Geneva, the winner of Geneva and Woodlands on March 4th. It will be that much closer to a state championship. So this game is important. It is winner go home, winner advances. The loser has to unfortunately call it a season. As we are just about to get started with team introductions. It is Saint the Second Baptist Lady Eagles. They are in all white. The Saint Michael's Crusaders, Lady Crusaders, are going to be in their maroon. As we are just a couple of minutes away, and they will have the national anthem. Clock stopped at point two. It didn't matter. Here, as we will have the national anthem.
have introduced everybody. Getting ready to set up again, as we said at the top of the hour. This is two things. One, it is a doubleheader. Boy, Boyd Sam Michael Boys play right after this. But this is a winner go home playoff game. The winner will proceed on to the semifinals with an opportunity to play for a state championship. The loser, unfortunately, has to go home. Oops. Start to hear. Just trying to test out the ball, make sure that it's good. All right. Everybody's here. There are fans for both sides, cheerleading squads for both sides as well. Passionate fan base as it is tipped. And it starts off with Saint of uh, the Second Baptist. Trying to get something going right here. Pass out to Sabajo. She's trying to get something going, trying to get something. Shakes the defender, ties for three, and it's good. Already, St. Michael's taking up the floor, trying to get something going. Good pass out. St. Michael's trying to get back with the three of their own. It's a good rebound by Getman. Pass on the inside. Going back out. Another chance for three. That one is no good. Rebounded again. With Dawson who had it. She gets fouled. Should we go into the line? Try to shoot two. So for the Eagles, a great way to start off. You get the tip, open the tip, take it for three. Now an opportunity. Dawson gets the first point it's for St. Michael's. She'll get the second point. Making a one-point game. Savajo not wasting any time, loses the ball. And she's really trying to get through. Quick pass out. And it's stolen away. Now a new opportunity down the field. And a layup and in. Griffith all alone. That's Ryan. Ryan not wasting any time. As her shot is no good, but a good rebound to come back. So now we have a 5-4 five, five, game. Six twenty left in the opening quarter. Dawson. Dawson going into the lane. It's just a little short. A foul is called. So a foul is called. They're going to say it stays with the Crusaders. That's a quick pass out. And no good. It's Griffith all alone. And a foul again called. And Dawson once again will go to the line to shoot two. She'll get the first one to tie up the game. As a substitution is being made for second Baptist, that is Jazz Williams. She's coming in for Burton. And Dawson's second point is no good. Not wasting any time. Trying to get through. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call travel on second Baptist. That looked like it would be good. No, no dice. 
Trying to spread the floor. St. Michael's trying to spread the floor fairly quickly. Trying to get something going. That's Watkins. Watkins passed it out to Dawson. Dawson back to Griffith. All the way. And that ball is batted away. Jazz Williams gets a piece of it. Knocks it out of bounds, but it will stay with the Lady Crusaders with an opportunity. Five and a half to go in the opening quarter. Goes in. No good. That was Neil Wilson who had it. Caught a hand to the face. And she'll be shooting two from the line. So already, St. Michael's is making good work at the free throw line. And she sinks the first one. Good. So extends the Crusaders' lead. This is their first lead of the day. As Salvajo, as Salvajo comes in, trying to push it out, out to Ryan, Ryan to Williams, back to Ryan. As she tries to go around. Salvajo again, trying to get something going. Pass out to Marshall, which gives it right back to Salvajo. As she's going inside, and the ball's going to go out, but it's going to stay with the Eagles. They're going to say last touch by the Crusaders. I don't think Marshall saw that one. As Ella Ryan trying to get it in. Quick tip, and it goes in. Salvatro, it's her fifth point of the night. Trying to get something going, that pass is blocked, stolen away, they're gonna call a jump ball. But it will stay with the Crusaders. Louis Watkins, passes it in, ball is tipped away, stolen. Ryan has it, going with the spin move and it will not make it. Marshall on the rebound, no good. Williams has an opportunity, she can't get it. And the Crusaders now have it. It's Griffith trying to get the layup. Can't. And another miss. Getman was, in, Getman was right there under the basket. Couldn't get that one. And for both teams, the last five shots in the paint under the rim have not fallen. Ball goes out. They're going to say it stays with the Eagles. Salvajo has it. Good pass out. Walker. Walker trying to get something going. Back to Salvajo. Out to Marshall. Marshall to Williams. And it's just short for Williams. As Dawson had it. And they're going to call a foul. They call a foul on Williams. A little bit of a blocking foul. She was impeding Dawson's progress to try to. You know, she was impeding Dawson's progress to try to make something happen. A quick pass out, trying to get something going, and that's good. Already been a good game thus far. A lot of offense, a lot of defense. Solid Joe not wasting any time. Foul is called. as the Crusaders will make some substitutions. As Jaden Dawson will come in. Trying to get something going, and they're going to call it. And so the Eagles waste too much time trying to get the ball inside. As it's now Dawson. That's Jordan Dawson. Passing around, trying to get something going. No good. And they're going to call the charge. Offensive foul. So 
Walker inbounded. Only down two by Salvadro. Salvadro not wasting any time being aggressive on offense. Out to Ryan. To Marshall. Ryan to Salvadro. Salvadro just from the free throw line. It's good. They're trying to get something going. Dawson out to Griffin. Out to Dawson. As it is battled, they're going to call a jump ball. So since it is a jump ball, it will officially go to second Baptist. You're just inside three minutes to go. Tie game at nine. Been very good thus far. As that ball is sent all the way across the field. Ryan to Williams. Williams sinks it in. No one saw Ella Ryan. And she was virtually alone. And it's stolen away. Jazz Williams. A pass out to Ryan. Ryan to Marshall on the inside. It's no good. Blocked. As the ball. They're going to say it stays with St. Michael's. No, it stays with the Eagles, pardon me. As they say, St. Michael's was a little too aggressive following a, a turnover. The ball slipped out. As Wilson was the one who came down with the rebound. So Wilson came down with it. And they, and it slipped out of her hands. Out to Williams. Now to Marshall trying to get inside and they get it. Griffith trying to make something happen. And she shoots with three. That's no good. Walker now has it. She's being double teamed. Can't really get it. Trying to push through. Ball slips away. And it stays with going to stay with the Eagles. Yeah. Ryan will be the one to inbound it. Looking in the corner for Sama Joe. Sama Joe looking for Williams. As Williams cannot get it, but she will go to the line to shoot too. Now an opportunity for Second Baptist to extend the lead. Williams will be off the mark on the first one. Dawson not coming in. It's Avery Lindsay moving up. As if Williams will miss them both. What a rebound. Salvajo has it. No, that was Ryan. Solid Joe all alone for three. Can't get it. As Walker gets it, but it's stolen. Intercepted. It's a move inside, but can't sink it. They're going to call a foul. No, a jump ball. something. The ball's going to go to the Eagles. It'll be Walker who inbounds it. Good pass out. Good spin move by Ryan. Absaljo all alone in the corner. Good! Half the points. If that goes in, no problem. St. Michael's it's Dawson helps cut that lead. They're trying to get something going. Ryan has it now. She's trying to make something happen. Inside, Williams, and that's good. Yeah. 
trying to make something happen. We're inside the final minute of the first quarter. There's a foul is called. I'm going to say it stays with the Crusaders. Dawson's going to the line to shoot two. Dawson's off the mark. She's off the mark for the first one. Oops. But she'll sink the second one. There it is. Savajo trying to get something, not wasting that much time. It's an over midcourt trying to shake Dawson, her defender, and she's just going to do the teardrop. <laughs> teardrop shot goes in, extends this lead to eight. As Dawson's going to try for three, goes in, out, no good. Ryan has it. 20 seconds left to go here. Passes it over to Walker, stolen away, but Williams is right there. Extends it to double digits. Final few seconds. We're trying to get something going out to Dawson for three. No good. And that is how the first quarter ends. 22 to 12. Second Baptist coming out swinging. We'll take a short little break, but you are watching. Oh, uh, you are watching playoff basketball here on Vibe Live. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Already having a little bit more fun here. About to get ready to get started for that second part. For quarter number two, just about to get started. Twenty-two to twelve currently the score. As it will be St. Michael's who has it only down by 10, but luckily they are a team that can score in a hurry if needed, if need be. So, trying to get something going, out to Dawson. Dawson tries to flip it out, gives it to Griffith. Griffith trying to make sure something happens. On the inside, it's no good. As it pushed, stolen away. Salvador has it. She's trying to put more on it. Trying to get something going on the inside, and that's good. Trying to get something going. There's Dawson. Dawson to Gitman. Gitman can't get it, but she loses it. Not only does she lose it, it goes right back to the, the Eagles. The Eagles not wasting that much time. Savajo making moves on the inside. They're going to call a foul. They're going to say she's going to the line to shoot two. So Libby Savajo, Olivia Sa Olivia Libby Savajo is there. They have three Olivias on the team. Uh, St. Baptist does. As first one goes in. Extends that lead. They have three of them. And they go by Olivia, Libby, and Liv, respectively. But 
No, make no mistake about it, number 12. Livy Salvadro is an animal. She is the reason why they're up as much as they are. As the three is good. Watkins wastes no time with that. Still trying to cut that lead to double digits. Salvadro in the inside can't sink it. And they're going to call a foul. So they're going to call a foul. I believe that is. That is Tackett. That's Riley Tackett who will be shooting two. And she will miss the first one. It's been the speed that they've worked with. It has been the speed of Second Baptist that has helped them. They are playing aggressively on offense. Not only are they playing aggressively offensively, they are just boxing out as Tackett misses the second one. Walker on the rebound, trying to get something going. Pass out to Sabajo. Back to Ryan, inside to Marshall. Marshall has it and it slips in. So trying to get it to Watkins, Watkins to Gitman. Gitman sinks that one. They're waiting for something as Ryan was all alone for three. Couldn't get it. And that is Dawson not wasting any time. Dawson to Watkins, and it goes out of bounds. And they say it stays. It's going to stay with St. Michael's. They're going to say Watkins gets two shots at the line. They're going to say that she was in the act of shooting. So now she will have two shots at the line to try to, at minimum, cut this deficit to single digits. And she'll miss the first one. And she'll just miss it. They were going to give it to her on attack. And that ball is taken. Got a piece of it. Getman got a piece of it, ball goes out, and St. Michael's will have it. As the timeout is called, Second Baptist wants one. We'll take it with them. You are watching playoff basketball here on Viper Live. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most prospective broadcasts and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from TV and pop corner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fun arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. All right, a quick little timeout was taken by Second Baptist. The Eagles wanted to talk things through. As the ball is passed inside, there were nothing but Eagles there. As Walker is the one with it. She's trying to maneuver, get something, gets a good shot off. Can't get it as Ryan now has it. As she... Gets fouled by Dawson. It's Jordan Dawson. No, sorry, Jade Dawson is the one who fouls. They are both having substitutions. Ryan is going to go to the free throw line. She'll go to the free throw line and shoot a what a magnet two. But she'll only shoot one. She misses, but Marshall puts that one in and extends the lead to 13. Trying to get something going. Something has to give. St. Michael's looking for some sort of hope as the ball is taken away. 
Stole away, Salvaggio. Puts it in. Shoot. St. Michael's will take a timeout. We'll stay. And we'll stay right here. We won't really go anywhere. Samajo was the one who had it. She was working kind of like a cornerback does, watching the eyes. And she takes that one to the hole. And it has been really all second Baptist here today. And it's really only been all second Baptist. They have been absolutely good. Crusaders have been good, but they've had a lot of key mistakes, especially down on the inside the paint with turnovers and, and whatnot. They have to be able to clean that up if they want to be able to keep it, but it is the fast-paced intensity, just the fast-paced nature of the Eagles that has, been, that has been bad. As the Crusaders are coming in, Dawson trying to shake something off, out to Watkins, back to Dawson. As that ball is tipped away, stolen away. And that's Ryan who's just gonna flip it in. And they are extending their largest lead of the day. A quick dump off as no good. Starting to feel like they're a little ice cold as the ball is stolen away. Dawson has it. She's going on the inside, was looking for she was looking for a teammate, couldn't get it. Dawson had it. She was looking for Avery Lindsay. Lindsay was the closest one to the basket, trying to do a little alley situation, couldn't. As Marshall will come off the floor, Williams will come back on. And it was. And no, Marshall will stay on. That is it is Tackett who will come off. Salvador having it now. Inside four minutes left to go here before we hit halftime. Salvador making everything work for her. As Williams has it, but they're going to call a foul. Offensive foul on the Eagles. And Jazz Williams. Jazz Williams causes a turnover as they are just waiting on a substitution to take place. And there, the refs are just discussing what's going on right now. At this point. Trying to get something done. Dawson passes it out to Dawson. The flip to Dawson, back to Dawson. On the, to the inside is blocked. That was a big size advantage right there. Passing it all the way. There was Walker who was alone, goes inside. Marshall gonna try to get it. She can't get it. And they're going to call a foul on the Eagles. They're going to call a foul on the Eagles. I think they're calling that on Williams. And because both teams are in a bonus situation, every foul now comes with, at minimum, a free throw attempt. So Detman will be the one to shoot it, trying to Change it up a little bit, if nothing else. Uh, she sinks that one. First basket in a minute. Yeah, don't count anything out. This is the game of basketball. Anything and everything can happen. As Gettman trying to get the second one, she does. Trying to at least chip away at the lead. A good pass out to Marshall. Salvador. 
trying to set up the offense, trying to set up her girls for a good pass inside the tacket. And they're going to call another foul. Another offensive foul on Second Baptist. That is three consecutive offensive possessions that have ended in a foul for the Eagles. St. Michael's trying to make something happen, trying to capitalize. Gitman for three, just off the mark. Zaba Joe not wasting any time. She sets up for a good two. She won't get it. Walker will. Good pass out to Dawson. Getman trying to make something happen. Can't. And they're going to call a foul. So I think they're saying that now because, yes, because St. Because Second Baptist is in the double bonus. That's two shots to the line. So Tackett will have that opportunity. She shoots and will miss the first one. She'll miss the second one. As that ball's falling away. Samajo for three goes in and out of the basket. Trying to push it, go through. As it is batted up. The foul being called. So it will be Griffith who will take two shots of the line. We are just, a, we are two minutes, two seconds left before we hit halftime. As they have now cut that lead to 16. Highest it has been. And the 17 was there for a while. And it goes in and out. 21, 36, that's currently what we have. Eagles are not wasting any time. They have the Crusaders virtually on their heels for most of the first half. As it goes up into the Raptors. And I think there is an injury. I think this Jaden Dawson, who is now on the round. So we will step away just for a moment and hope that she is okay. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Prof okay, so didn't know how long that was going to actually take, but she was able to get up. She was able to get up and very much so able to have something to get to the sideline. We're sure speed recovery regardless. And St. Michael's goal goes out, but it's gonna stay with the Crusaders. Last touched by was last touched by the Eagles. I think it was Walker who was the last one to get a hand on it. 
They're trying to make something happen as that ball goes in, goes out. And it's going to stay with the Crusaders. And Olivia Smith checks in. Trying to get something out. Griffith for three. No good. Tackett has it all the way out. Oh, to Salvadro. Salvadro gave it to Ryan. Ryan gave it right back. Out to Tackett. Tackett back to Ryan. As they are trying to get something going. Salvajo inside. Inside again to Walker. Can't get it. 60 seconds left. As that is Watson. Watson can't get it. It goes in and the foul. And so now an opportunity to keep cutting this lead for St. Michael's. And Watkins sinks it. Trying to set it out, didn't waste any time. Eagles are now going to go to the line to shoot two. Tackett, it was a quick down the court pass to Tackett. Tackett was there, but she gets blocked, double teamed. And now she will have the opportunity. And she'll miss the first one. With 45 ticks left to go here before we hit halftime. Do not forget, this is a playoff game. We also have the second one for a doubleheader. We have St. Michael's boys coming up just after this one. Sets it up, goes in. And there is absolute speed for the Crusaders. Crusaders are trying to get something going. As they call a foul. And that will be considered a turnover. As both teams are now in the double bonus situation. I guess they're going to call it a travel as they pass out to Salvajo. As Salvajo has it, it's battled for. And they're going to call it jump ball, which means it goes right back to the Eagles. Oh no, it goes to the Crusaders. So the Crusaders have it, it's batted up, tipped it into the air. There is Ryan. Back out to Salvajo. Good pass out to Waring. So Ryan, back to Salvador, they're just trying to use the time. Really just trying to use it. Last second. So that shot is not going to count. And we have hit halftime. 37-24, 10 minutes to make adjustments. So we'll take a break with them. Again, this is a doubleheader. We will have the second half of that right after this game. Winner, go win or go home. We were watching playoff basketball here on Vibe Live. We'll be right back after these messages. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. 
This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. What's your favorite high school sports memory? A late inning rally? A game winning shot? A photo finish? Maybe it's a pep rally or a pregame ritual. Maybe it's the euphoria of a late night bus ride home after a hard fought win. Maybe it's having pizza with teammates after the game. Now, imagine if it never happened at all. School sports need your help. With budgets getting tighter, it's more than the games that are on the line. It's all the traditions, the community pride, the culture of your hometown high school, plus all those memories that are on the line too. What can you do? It's simple. Buy a ticket when you can. Go to a game. Take the whole family. Let's do everything we can to keep those cherished school sports memories alive. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. It's been a trying year for parents. They've been confronted with countless challenges and have always risen to the occasion. If it isn't too much to ask, the 826,000 high school student athletes in Texas have one last request. Please set an example. Disorderly fan conduct at high school athletic events is on the rise. It increasingly involves parents. There's no question that parents are passionate. There's no question they care about their children. But at a time when we're all wound a little more tightly than usual, it's worth remembering this about Texas high school sports. Always be a good example. Stop unruly fan behavior before it starts. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Hey high schoolers, are you interested in a career in sports media? Vibe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. Are you worried how 2020 has impacted your teen's social development? We are too. Want to know what might help? Participating in the performing arts in high school. It's been hard being a teenager recently. Hard to cope, hard to keep up, hard not to feel like you're missing out. Everything's different and nobody knows what's next. Encouraging your son or daughter to participate in performing arts can really help. Those are high school activities like band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech, and debate. They'll make new friends, develop confidence, and feel the satisfaction of being part of a team. Participation in the performing arts aren't a cure-all, and they certainly won't make the pandemic go away, but they will make the teenagers in your family feel like they're part of something special. This message presented by the NFHS and the Texas University Interscholastic League. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees, high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. There are 
are no words to describe it. The isolation, the boredom, the loneliness. If you're wondering where your teenage son or daughter's spirit went, you're hardly alone. The past year has been devastating, especially for them. But here's the good news. They might just find it again, playing high school sports. Workouts that stimulate, teammates and coaches that care, the sense of belonging so many of us have been missing lately. That's what school sports are all about. The sense of achievement is real, and the camaraderie is hard to beat. Coping with uncertainty is difficult, but school sports can help the teenagers in your family start feeling like themselves again. Encourage them to give it a try. High school sports, it's so much more than a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Interested in Vibe Campus? Vibe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vibe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vibe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vibe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vibe Campus today. to go before we just get out of halftime. 37-24, the current score that we have between Snake and Baptist and St. Michael's again. This is a doubleheader, so the boys, St. Michael's boys, will be playing the Woodland Christian boys in, as soon as this game is over. So do not go anywhere, stick around. At the conclusion of this game, we'll be bringing you that one as soon as we can. Storyline for the first half, definitely it has been Libby Savajo, or Savajo. She has been absolutely immaculate in everything that she has been doing. She has been on the offensive, on the defensive. She has been passing it. She has been literally all of the offense, defense, and even some of the special teams of the Second Baptist Eagles as they have led. It has been not easy for the St. Michael's Crusaders, but they are a tough team, a very good team regardless. And they have shown, especially down the stretch, they are not going out without a fight. And before we get started with the second half, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors, and Academy Sports and Outdoors, back to school also means back to sport. And for graphic tees, the football cleats, we have everything you need to make this your best year yet. Swing by your local Academy store today or shop online at academy.com. And you can find all the hottest styles from and top brands like Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Vans, all at prices you'll love. So if you want to get, uh, get game-changing gear, start here at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Thank you so much for sponsoring. As we are just a few seconds away from getting to the second half again. It's a winner go home game. The winner will be seeing the winner of this game will be seeing the win winner of Geneva and Woodland Christian and Woodlands Christian on March 4th. So a lot on the line. As it will be. As Savajo will have it, she'll start off with the ball. Eagles will start off with it. They switch sides. Out to Marshall. Marshall passing on the inside to Williams. And Williams sinks it. Not wasting any time. Goes, and that's a miscommunication right there. Dawson's pass goes right through the hands of Gitman. A good pass as that ball is tipped away by Gitman. And on the other side, it's no good. Griffith was there trying to go coast to coast. But she could not get fouled. 
And the shoot will be shooting two at the line. So Audrey Griffith trying to get something going as she will miss the first one. And the Eagles led by as much as 17 points and trying to cut this deficit any way that they can. The Crusaders, Lady Crusaders are. And she will sink the second one, no problem. Salvador not wasting any time. Out to Marshall. Marshall to Williams. Tries to find Ryan, who was all alone. Out to Walker. And Walker pulls up and shoots it and gets it. Dawson, good pass out, as Watkins can't sink that one. Trying to get something going. Salvador had it, now she's slowing it down. Marshall passes it to Williams, can't get it. A battle for it, and it's called going to stay with the Eagles. Some fans were saying that they wanted to call on a push. They're not going to get one. Ryan trying to find someone and she can't. Too much traffic. Another foul is called. So Dawson now comes in. A huge pass. Out to the corner. Griffith for three. No good. Getman gets it. As she tries, she can't put it in. As Ryan is going, not wasting any time. Down the field on a fast break. Can't get it. Williams gets it. She can't put it in. And a foul is called. Jazz Williams, who was absolutely immaculate on the defensive end. All the first half now will shoot. And she'll miss the first one. Six minutes to go here in the third. And she'll miss them both. As that ball is stolen away. Another chance and another opportunity. Dawson has it. And she'll pass it to the inside. Trying to get something going. Can't. As Williams and Marshall are both there and they can. They're just making it impossible to shoot on the inside, inside the paint. Pass out to Salvajo. Trying to get something going. As that ball is taken, stolen away. It is a chance, Watkins. And they're gonna call a travel on Avery Watkins, on Lily Watkins, pardon me. So Watkins had it, and you see in Samo and Savajo all the way down to the basket, but they call a travel. And what could have helped turn this game around if only for a moment, backfires. Zamado trying to shake her defender. She's trying to shake Griffith. Griffith is, is not going anywhere. Staying on her like white on rice. Trying to battle, and it goes in. Marshall wants to join the scoring party. Pass out, Watkins trying to get it, and she will put that one in. And not going away so easily. You 
Eagles trying to get something. Pass out, tack it, tack it. And Savage under the basket, and she gets that one. That ball's sent all the way across the field. As it is fast, Watkins all alone for three, and she can't get it. But it's saved and blocked. Dawson saved it, gave it to Lindsay, and Lindsay couldn't put it in. It was blocked. Both teams have been playing great defense. It's kind of the reason why, despite the lead, should miss the first one. And Dawson, who went down to the first. Ooh, excuse me. It's Jaden Dawson who went down in the first now checks in. So and then she is okay. But as I was saying, no lead is really safe. Both teams are playing and fighting until the very, very end. As Lindsay had it for a second. Griffin has it, passes it, and Samajo gets it. And that's gonna be Ryan, and she's just gonna lay it in for two. A good twist to roof for two. A timeout is called as now the largest lead of the day has been established. Unbelievable. So if you haven't been watching or just joined, Again, it's a winner go home game. This is the largest lead by either team, 20 points. The largest previous lead was 17. And it has been St. Baptist, second Baptist, don't know why I keep saying second, or St. Baptist, second Baptist through everything. They have been playing immaculately on offense and defense, but the Crusaders are no slouches. They have been playing great offense and great defense. They have had a lot of miscues, a lot of miscues on the offensive side, missing open shots and having uh, careless turnovers, but they do not give up. They are fighting to the very end. Whistle to whistle, they have been great. They're just trying to, so, they're trying to, the only thing is that they have not found a, a solution to Libby Savajo. As that is a move. On the inside, can't get it. Lindsay had it, stolen away. Salvatore had it. And they're gonna say it goes right back to the Crusaders. They're gonna say Salvatore stepped out, if only for a moment, and it passes it. It's Griffith who has it. Out to Watkins. Tried looking for Lindsay, a little too high for her. And Salvatore has it. Gets over the timeline. Being patient with it, trying to get it, and they are going to call a foul as Marshall as Marshall falls down. They're trying to, so they are going to tend to Marshall. Just a moment, and had a, another injury. As she's up, she's walking, and making her way to the bench. Oh no, she's not, she's gonna stay in. And she's saying no, she's good to go. <laughs> Trying to get it going. So a pass on the inside as it's tipped, stolen away. It's Dawson. As that ball was just poked away for a moment. And they're going to call a foul. So Jaden Dawson had it. She was going down the field. As a move.
Trying to get it out. Savajo all the way out to Ryan. Ryan to Williams. Jazz Williams takes that one. Jordan Dawson passes it. I think she was looking. I think she was looking for Jaden. She was looking for Jaden Dawson inside the paint. Goes a little bit too far. And that's what we've been talking about. But offensive, empty offensive possessions have been the name of the game. As there's Walker. Ball is stolen away. As Dawson now has it. She passes it out to Dawson. Dawson trying to get something going. She can't. Savadro has it, and she's just going to be patient, and she sends it all the way across the court for Ryan. Can't get it. But this one goes in. Tackett gets it and extends the lead. Unbelievable. So they call a quick timeout. We'll take it with them. You are watching playoff basketball here on Vibe Live. What is Vibe Live? Vibe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vibe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. All right. Uh, that was good. They are, they just sounded the buzzer. As we are still waiting on both teams to emerge. Still here in the third quarter, a minute and 50 seconds to go. 110 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. As Riley Tackett was the last Eagle to score. And her scoring now puts, keeps adding on to the lead. So Dawson's gonna pass it back. Out to Lindsay. Inside, Watkins trying to get it, and she'll sink that one. As it's Ryan, not Salvador, there. Ryan passing it all the way out. Inside to Jazz Williams, and she sinks that one. Bit of force. As Watkins gets it and somehow sinks it. I told you they are not giving up despite being down by 22. As that ball is sent, goes out of bounds. As the St. Michael side of the gym is going bananas. As they are supporting their girls hoping that they can find some way to rally back. So Dawson passing it on the inside, and that is swatted away. Jazz Williams having fun at the block party. He's gonna stay with St. Michael's going in. Getman can't get it. She's gonna try it again, and it'll sink. So cuts that lead to 20. Ryan has it. Trying to get something going. Trying to push it. Ryan trying to shake her defender. He's going to pull up inside to Williams. That's going to be a block. And so a timeout is called.
Unbelievable. Both teams have three. Oh, pardon me. That was the Eagles who called it. Eagles now with two timeouts left in the game. Crusaders with three. Both teams have been playing absolutely great. Just had their issues here and there. But again, the major problems for Saint uh, for Second Baptist has been they have uh, they have not really they haven't had a lot of issues. The only main issue has been from Saint Michael's, and that's been they had empty a lot of empty possessions. As it's Tackett, Tackett had it. Pass it inside to Williams. Williams is going to the line to shoot two. She's found on the shot. And that's currently, yeah, they're going to shoot two. Try to get something. 24.7 seconds left as Williams will miss the first one. And she'll miss them both as Tackett has it and they're going to call a travel on Tackett. And so now St. Michael's will have it, an opportunity. Dawson waiting. And she's now waiting. Passes it out to Dawson to get in, and they are going to call a foul. So they were having waiting as Walker's going to come in. Williams will check out. Trying to get something, anything. Dawson as Getman had it for a moment. Trying to get a shot off, cannot. Tackett has it, passes it, and it's stolen away. Dawson had it, a block. But she'll get two shots in the line. Five seconds left to go. This 20, five seconds left to go. And she'll miss the first one. Tackett will sit. Burton checks in. As the ball goes in, trying to save it. It goes out of bounds. Getman was trying to save it, if only for a moment. Trying to get something, there's Ryan. Ryan just gonna try to heave it, and it's gonna hit the backboard. So definitely had the distance, just not enough, did not go in. So we will step away for just a moment, and then we will come back for one more quarter of fun. You are watching playoff basketball here on the Pipeline. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Texas. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. All righty then. Both teams are getting set to come back onto the court. For one more final opportunity again. Winner go home. Winner will advance to see the winner of Geneva and Woodlands Christian on March 4th. So a lot riding on this game. As Dawson goes in, Getman didn't get it as Walker 
Had it for a moment, passes it back to Salvatore. And Salvatore is trying to, trying to shake her defender a little bit. As Ryan, wide open, can't get it, but she'll go to the line to shoot three. Almost sunk that one. She gets fouled on the shot, so three opportunities to extend this lead a little more. Getman is going to come off the floor to standing ovation. Or to an ovation, not really a standing one. As Ryan will miss the first one. She'll miss the second. As Olivia Smith will come off. But she'll sink number three. As both teams are trying to get something going. Griffith has it out to Dawson. As it was, they're gonna say it stays. I'm trying to get something going. And that ball is tipped, stolen away. Savajo, as she just dumps it off to Walker, and then they call a foul on that one. I don't think it was not an intentional fall or tripping, but their feet kind of got tangled up a little bit. Walker seems to be okay. As the ball will stay with the Second Baptist Eagles. Trying to get something going. Trying to push it out a little bit more. Savajo. Trying to get something going. Trying to shake her defender. Trying to shake Lindsay. No, sorry, Wilson. Just trying to shake Wilson. Just using up as much time as she can. Trying to make everybody miss. As she shoots it in the middle of the paint, can't get it. Trying to get a good pass. Griffith for three, just short. Salvajo has it now, being guarded by Dawson. As they're trying to push this one up the field, up the court. As Ryan slips, ball goes out. So it will be two shots at the line for Ella Ryan, who just a moment ago went one for three. That's currently one for three for all her attempts, as she will miss that one, make her one of four on the day. As that ball is tipped, trying to be saved. Walker tried to save that one, but I think it may have just slightly gone out of bounds before. They're trying to get something going, trying to push, and they're going to whistle another foul, I think a blocking foul. Yeah, so they're going to and. So they're going to just allow it as evidence of the crowd. Another shot by Watkins. Watkins misses that one. Sends it all the way across the field. Trying to get it on the inbound, on the inside. Can't get it. No good. The second Baptist had two additional shots.
And two additional shots as Ashworth missed it, and so did Walker. So Walker's going to get a, a opportunity, and she'll sink that one, sink the first one. Extends that lead a little bit more. As we are reaching the final six minutes. She'll sink the second one as well. Liv Walker. So as we are coming towards the tail end of this one, don't forget, this is a doubleheader. We will be having the boys game for St. Michael's versus Woodland Christian right here on Vibe Live. Do not go anywhere. That's, if this game is any, if the next game is as good as this one, you definitely not want to go anywhere. So don't worry about that. <laughs> They're trying to, both teams are trying to make the final substitution. So again, still a lot of time. Six minutes to go. A lot of things can happen in six minutes. But again, it has been, St. Michael's just been playing at a absolutely amazing rate. Having a little bit of offensive issues coming up empty. Turnovers on the offensive side as well. That's kind of been the story and the name of the game for the Lady Crusaders. And for the Eagles, they have been immaculate in all the phases of the game that they have tried. They're playing suffocating defense. They are taking high percentage shots. Uh, would, you know, and they have had their issues, but they seem few and far between as they just seem to be going with their intensity. Good rotation and skills and everything. So great job by both coaches. Both coaches are – whoa. Almost fell back there. Both coaches coaching two amazing – sets of, of girls and they have all been absolutely amazing to watch this afternoon as Dawson tries to go inside as they will call it now a jump ball and it's going to the Eagles so Walker's the one who gets it gives it out to Sabajo passes it out to Ryan Ryan has the opportunity and from nowhere Oh my goodness. Jaden Dawson came from absolutely nowhere and stole the ball away. I told you that they were not going away. The Crusaders said that they are not going to go. If they're going to go, they're not going quietly. Unbelievable. So she'll steal the ball back. It'll be two shots at the line. Or maybe just one shot at the line, pardon me. And she will miss it, but it will stay with the Crusaders. A good pass inside traffic as it is a jump ball. That stays with the Crusaders. So looking for Lindsay. Now finds Watkins. Watkins tried it. She gets blocked. But they call a foul on that. And so now she'll get a chance to shoot at the line as they're going to claim that as the act of shooting. So Avery Lindsay. No, so that's going to be Watkins who shoots it, and she'll sink the first one easily. Nothing but net on that one. Always fascinated by schools that make it to the playoffs. They can only make it to the playoffs by one way. That's good coaching, good team all around. So good for both of them as Watkins will step up and try to make the second one as she will sink the second one. 
as they are double teaming Ryan. Samajo trying to get something out. Opportunity wide open three is way too much off the mark. Ryan saved the ball, threw it off, saved the ball, went off of Dawson. And went off of Jaden Dawson. There's an opportunity going on the inside, it's tipped, taken away. Jordan Dawson has it, giving it to Watkins. Watkins had it blocked. Neither team wanting this game to end, and neither team giving up. Both teams still playing aggressively down the stretch. Watkins will get two more shots at the line. As she'll... Missed the first one. And she misses the second one. Uh, yeah. Trying to get something going, pushing it down the field. Ryan was there, almost got blocked from the back. And there's Ryan. Back out to Savajo. As it was to Marshall, and that is blocked. Marshall passed the inside to Waring, and Waring's shot is blocked. Trying to bet you something, and it goes out. So two shots in the line. That's what will be given. I think that is Marshall who will be the one to shoot it. She'll sink that first one. One more opportunity, one more shot. She'll sink the second one, too. 58-35. As a good pass inside to Watkins, it's just short. A little far of the, of the rim, but it will be called a foul, and Watkins will get two more shots to try and get something going. And she'll sink that first one. They've been doing for the past, I want to say about a minute, minute to 90 seconds, just going back and forth, both teams with free throws. And she'll sink the second one. Two for two this time around was 0 for two last time. As she comes off the court. And that ball is sent to Savajo. Savajo is just not giving up. Being aggressive. Back out to Ryan. Ryan trying to protect the ball. Savajo has it now. Both teams feel like they're just playing keep away. Inside to Ryan. Ryan's pass is blocked. Her shot is blocked, pardon me. And But it is Marshall who will take it in. As Griffith has it. Passing it all the way inside. Lindsay being double teamed. Griffith again trying to get something to Wilson. No good. As that is passed all the way across the court. And no good. Had an opportunity. That was Waring, who was all alone. 
trying to get something going. Savajo is going to make that one. So Savajo now has made that, and she's been the primary offense on both as she gets a hand on that. Ryan gets a hand on it, and Savajo has it. Making this. Making this more effective as that one is, is blocked by Wilson. Wilson trying to get onto the inside. She's trying to score. It will not. As trying to get something as they are going to call a foul on that one. So they are saying it's going to be two shots at the line for Ryan. Yeah, they're going to say it's two shots at the line for Ryan. We have two minutes and 55 seconds left to go here in this game. 62-37. Ryan will sink the first one, make it 63-37. Trying to push through and get something going. And we'll sink the second one. So again, before we get into the three-minute mark, again, this is a doubleheader. The St. Michael's boys will be taking on the Woodland Christian boys. And uh, so don't go anywhere. That is going to be coming up right after this. Tip-off is expected to start at about 1.55, 2 o'clock. So as soon as this one ends, they'll warm up. We'll bring that game to you. It's like it's going to be a very entertaining second game that's doubleheader. This one has had its moments, been very good thus far. Again, the winner of this game will go on and Okay, apparently I need someone to go to the ticket table. Um, in the winner of this game, we'll see the winner of Geneva and Woodlands Christian to go to the semifinals, and they'll see each other on March 4th. You know, pending. So, we'll soon try to see what happens and goes. Dawson is going to finally take it, get it over the timeline. Quick little pass out inside the Wilson, no, to Watkins, and can't get it. And Wilson will put that one in. Good pass all the way down the field. As that one is tipped away, Watkins had it for a moment. Trying to push through. As that one is passed, intercepted, taken by Dawson. Dawson trying to go inside. She will just be off the mark. Because they are battling for it. Ball goes out. It's going to go to the Eagles. Says it goes off of the shoe of Dawson. Passed it all the way across the court. Trying to get something going. Savajo passes it out to Waring. Waring trying to get something going. And they call it.
So another opportunity, two shots to the line. Waring is going to get the first one. As we are inside the final two minutes, make that the final minute 45. Dawson will come off the field to applause. As that one will go in. Extend the lead a little bit. As Wilson and Williams, as Marshall and Williams, pardon me, will go off the field, will go off the court. So trying to get something going. Push through. And he goes inside. Griffith gets two. Ryan wasting no time getting through. A good pass to the inside. Ryan tried to flip that one up and in. Couldn't do it. Trying to get it. Watkins puts it in. Trying to get something. Where's Walker? Walker passes out to Waring. Waring. And they're going to call a travel on Ryan. As... Dawson comes in, trying to get something going. A flip in, can't get it, as that ball goes out of bounds. Going right to the cheerleaders. Can't really get their help at the moment. That's passed to Griffith. Griffith alone for three. Can't sink that one. As Walker has it, we are inside the final 35 seconds. As that ball is taken, intercepted. Watkins tries to get it, can't get it. Lindsay tried to get it, she couldn't get it. 24.9 left on the game clock. And so Lindsay will go, Avery Lindsay will have an opportunity. And she can't get that one. And she'll miss them both. Walker has it. St. Michael's, the Crusaders are not giving up. We reach inside final 20 as that is an opportunity now, trying to get it there. Griffin trying to score, can't get it. No opportunity, no chance. Dawson had it, the whistle blows. So then they're gonna send Dawson, yes they are, they're gonna send Jordan Dawson to the line. as she'll miss the first one. And she'll dribble. She'll sink the second one. As an opportunity to Walker, Walker, doesn't matter. And so the second Baptist Eagles are victorious and will be meeting the winner of the Geneva Woodlands Christian game on March 4th for an opportunity to go to the state championship. Unbelievable, a great game, two amazing programs, two well-run programs, especially just two great programs. Um, amazing season for St. Michael's to even get this far. For any team to get this far, it's always a great thing. 
So that's the final score that we have currently. That's our final score, 44-66. So we'll step away just for a moment as we get ready as the Woodland Christian Warriors will take on the St. Michael's Crusaders in just about 30 minutes time. You are watching playoff basketball here on Vibe Live. Right back, right after this.